books, enough with the books, piled in every corner, cranny and nook. Books, books, spill out on the floor until I can't open the door. Books, books, tome upon tome, which I constantly am tripping over when I get home. Books, books, as I may have said, are everywhere, including my bed. They obstruct the movement in a flea bit and flat With books narrow-minded and books big and fat The dog ears are a-barking on each moth-ridden page That nobody's read for an age Books, books, second-hand books Overpriced at any price by bookseller crooks Revel in ephemera, immerse yourself in detail I take comfort knowing you didn't buy them retail Think of what you could have done with the loot that you spent You could have even paid your part of the rent Think of all the bread and think of the cheese Think of all the beer, would you please? Books, books, indigestible books On the culinary art of Aborigines cooks Overdone poems and underdone prose emit an odor that intrudes on the nose. A compendium of nooses by Captain Snodgrass Bickle, the cucumber informant, the invention of the pickle. Fox's Book of Martyrs, complete with illustration. A concordance of chrysanthemums from the Anglo-Saxon nations. Human evolution, Neanderthal, Cro-Magnon, the hemophiliacs, almanac, and... The Concubine's Companion. Actually, that one might be worth a look, but no more books. Is it pity for the scribes of quaint and curious lore that you pillage public libraries for books bound to bore? Do you steal them for their covers, or just for their spines, or the absence of library finds? Books. Books, a pox on them all. You can sleep in the bathtub and eat in the hall. Put your desk on the roof, have it all to yourselves until you build a few dozen shelves. The thoughts of authors dead and cold may be worth a parting look, but you'll join them sooner than you think if you bring home another book.